the new Figma auto layout was updated and announced during config in May 2022. Some things stayed the same, some features are brand new and exciting, and some stuff just moved and comes with sweet little details you should not miss. Give me five minutes of your time and I'll bring you up to speed with everything about the new auto layout so you stay ahead of the game and can jump right back into work. Let's start at the very beginning applying auto layout. Same old, press Shift A or use the menu. Nothing changed. However, notice how the layers now stack in the order shown on the canvas. Makes so much more sense. Thank you for that Figma. That old reverse order really used to annoy me. However, the look of the auto layout menu has changed. Let's investigate. Direction works just the same as before and also space between. You can also set horizontal and vertical padding just as we used to do before. If you want individual padding, just click to open the options for all sites. Pretty standard. Tip. Hold command and click on any padding field. You can now use the common notations as you would in CSS or simply type in one number for all. The alignment tool has simply changed position from the sub menu to the main menu. Otherwise it remains exactly the same and it holds some nice new shortcuts, which I'm going to show you shortly. The new on canvas control. Besides the auto layout menu, you now also have an on canvas control, and this is pretty amazing. So if you hover over any auto layout frame, you'll see the little pink handles appear and you can just drag them to adjust. This works for space between and also for padding. This comes with some really nice shortcuts. So let me show you some tips and tricks. If you hold shift while dragging, then you increase or decrease by your set nudging value. Very nice. You can also double click the handle to type a specific value. Hold all pressed when adjusting the padding and you get the same values for horizontal or vertical. If you hold shift and alt while dragging, then all padding will resize equally. New negative spacing. Okay, this one I'm really excited about. You can now have negative spacing between auto layout children, which means you can stack elements Finally, if you click on the three little dots in the auto layout menu, you get to the advanced layout menu options and there is some new and some improved old stuff. So the spacing mode is the same old, but nice new shortcuts. So just as an auto layout before, per default, everything is set to packed. Packed means that the space between your child elements is set to a fixed number. If you change that to space between, on the other hand, it will use up all available space and create equal gaps between the direct child elements. Now, I love that feature and use it a lot, but it's a bit annoying to always go down these sub menus. There is great new shortcuts to toggle between packed and space between in the new auto layout. Simply select the alignment box and press X to toggle between space between and packed or click on the on canvas control handle and simply type auto to set it to space between or any fixed value for packed. Another brand new feature that you find in the advanced layout menu is the include exclude stroke. This is going to be great help making strokes part of your components. You also find in the advanced auto layout changing stacking order. So here you can change the order if you have elements stacked via negative spacing. Note how this does not change the order in the layers menu. Besides stacking, you can also always use good old keyboard errors if you want to change the actual position of an auto layout child. And a last one brand new and a great helper is the text baseline alignment. You need at least one text element for this to work. You can then choose to align center or via the baseline of the text. Another great shortcut, select alignment box and press B to toggle the text baseline alignment. Brand new and amazing absolute positioning. This one is a total lifesaver. 
drag an element into your auto layout frame first, and then you'll get the option in the frames menu to set it to absolute. You can now drag and position it anywhere within your auto layout frame, and it is really inside your auto layout frame. This also means that you can set constraints for resizing. Resize menu. This is the same old, but it was moved and it comes with great new shortcuts. I was a little shocked when I first opened a new auto layout as the resize menu was gone. It's not. It just moved up right here to frames. It looks a little different, but it works exactly the same than before. We don't have the visual representation anymore, but Figma added some great shortcuts. Click the top or the bottom line of an auto layout frame to set to hug vertically. Click the left or the right side of an auto layout frame to hug horizontally. And the same works if you keep Alt pressed while clicking to change to fill container. So that's it, everything you need to know about the new auto layout to get going. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, there is more coming. Also make sure to visit moolearning.io where you find all my courses on UX, UI and Figma.